<laughs> oh, I think that was a bug. I swallowed a bug. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was definitely a bug. What's up guys? Asher from SRKCycles.com. Today we have a 2004 Yamaha V-Star. An old boy. Sky blue and dark blue looks really good. Like that. Like it a lot. Alright. Ooh, floorboards. Again, anybody who watched the video I did earlier today will know I am not used to floorboards. But, we're going to go ahead and do it. So, before we take off, guys, words of wisdom for the day. 2 Timothy 2, verse 13. If we are faithless, he remains faithful. All right, guys. Let's see what this is like. Here we go. All right. There's Caleb. All right, so... Yamaha V-Star. Sean gets a ton of these in. Um, I said it before in a different video on one of these. You know, I'll say it again now. Sean just gets, he's like these and Harleys are probably the two most frequent bike he gets in at the shop so um and somehow this is the first time i've ever uh today this is the second v-star I've, I've ridden today this is the first time i've ever ridden these bikes um i was pretty impressed with the first one for a cruiser i uh i had a good time on it i'm in neutral there we go um i had a lot of fun on it and i feel like this is probably going to be about the same come on there we go. Feels pretty good. It's pretty good so far, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like I said in a, a different video, I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to understand. I'm starting to understand you cruiser guys. I really am. I'm definitely starting to understand the draw to these. Um, just kind of hanging out on them, relaxing, not doing anything, not doing anything too crazy. I, I'm starting to get it. I really am. Um, and I actually, you know, I actually really like that. I'm kind of starting to get it. Um, it's good. Uh, it's good to have a well-rounded experience on these. And uh, that's that's kind of exactly what I'm looking for. Um, you know, most of these bikes I've never, I have no experience on. Um, so it's fun. It's a lot of fun to be able to get out and kind of share um, my first thoughts. I mean, this is, I, I've never ridden this bike before in my life. I've never sat on it. When I started it up, um, right before uh right before i started recording that was the first time i've ever started this bike up so i mean you're getting some pretty raw reactions out of me um in these videos uh because i just have i have no experience on them but again you cruiser guys man i'm starting to understand you guys are making me kind of want to get one So, yeah, this thing just feels, it feels nice. It's nice and comfy. The seat is, like, absurdly thick. That's, that's pretty dope. That's pretty, yeah, that's, that's phenomenal. And Caleb's wearing off on me. Caleb's just dope a lot. Must be hanging out with him too much. Hanging out with Caleb. That's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, 
yeah guys it is it's fun to just kind of relax and chill and not really have anything to worry about the handlebars are nice and wide you're in a nice comfortable seating position your feet are nice and forward feels like you're sitting in a nice big armchair it's good it's really really good so I, uh, I still have yet to ride my first Harley Davidson so that should be fun you guys will you guys will definitely get to see that <laughs> stupid sport bike guys first time ever on a Harley because he's a loser and doesn't get out often I don't know Sean will come up with some funny title for it <laughs> uh, I look forward to that though I look forward to that though um, especially after riding some of these metric cruisers that I've been riding today um, you know they're they're good they're good bikes so I'm curious to see how Harley stacks up to you know stacks up to these um, because again these are these are excellent motorcycles they really are um, so I look forward to riding the big bad OG of the uh, of the cruiser world. Uh, some would argue the motorcycle world. Period. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm curious to see how it stacks up because I'm telling you these metric cruisers are a lot of fun. They are a lot of fun, man. Um, especially for someone who's just not used to them. You know, in the past, historically, I've, you know, I've made fun of them. I've made fun of them before in the past because, you know, I was being ignorant. <laughs> uh, now that I get a chance to go out and ride them, um, there, there is nothing wrong with having one of these. These are good fun. They're comfortable. And, you know, I said it before, I'll say it again. It's got two wheels, some handlebars, and a motor. And, you know, preferably brakes. Um, and I have fun on it. That's, that's kind of my basis for whether or not I like a motorcycle. Um, because all bikes, to me, all bikes are, uh, are awesome. So... Um, this is just, that's just my opinion. I, I love motorcycles and this one's no exception. Uh, it's comfortable, it's relaxing. I like, I like not having the windscreen right here. Um, especially on a warmer day like today, you're getting a nice breeze going through the mesh jacket, cooling you down real good. Um, the not a lot. There's not a lot of like buffeting though. Oops, sorry. Sorry guys. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Um, there's not a lot of like buffeting. Like I don't feel my head like doing this number. Um, outside of when I like, you know, obviously going over bumps and stuff, but the wind's not really, also not going that fast, but the wind's not really doing anything crazy. Um, you know, to my upper body or helmet right now. And I'm sure if I were to get this thing on the freeway and, you know, take it up to about 70 miles an hour, it might be a totally different story, but you know, for where we're at now, doing about 40, 45. Um, I'm chilling, man. I'm just hanging out. Good bike. Fun bike. Just like everything, man. It's all, it's all fun. It's just all, all depends on what you're into. It's hard for me to find like a genuinely bad motorcycle these days um they all serve a purpose um just because just because a certain motorcycle doesn't fit your particular intended purpose it doesn't mean it's bad because that same bike could fit somebody else's intended purpose perfectly meaning it's the perfect bike for them so go into something with an open mind who knows you know one day my back might give out and I might not be able to ride my FZ anymore 
and I'm gonna need to buy something like a Goldwing or a Cruiser to be able to keep me riding. Uh, so, might as well try riding them now. So, if, I'm not gonna say when, but if that day comes, I'll be prepared. So, the same thing with this. I mean, it's comfy, it's relaxing. Actually, yeah, you can kind of get back and forth on a little bit. I wouldn't, because you drag your floorboard across the ground. But, shift's good, clutch is nice and light, brake's good, handle's pretty good for a big boy. Nothing wrong with it, guys. Nothing wrong with it. All right, we're almost back to the shop. This bike is available. It is for sale on srkcycles.com. Go check it out there, uh, along with, uh, there should be a walk around, walk around video up where he kind of, Caleb or Ben kind of goes over and points out everything going on with the appearance to the bike. So go check that out as well. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming along and hanging out with me, guys. My name's Asher. We'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, if you liked that video, don't forget to subscribe. If you didn't like that video, you can subscribe anyway and just continue watching videos that you don't like. I, that's whatever. That's fine. You can do that. Nothing wrong with that. You guys still there? I said subscribe and click that little uh, click the little notification button to let to let YouTube know you want to be notified. We'll see you guys later.